Research has shown that women experience gambling in different ways from men. Yet, the existing evidence on gambling harms tends to focus on men. We wanted to know more about why and how women engage with gambling treatment or support. Our research found that there is no one-size-fits-all approach to treatment and support. The women we spoke to offered their views on what good, relevant support would look like to them. They wanted language that resonates with women, for example, avoiding the term gambler, providing personalized support targeted at women from different socio-economic groups, easy to access support that was low commitment, flexible, private and discreet, free or affordable support, inclusive support that is gender and culturally appropriate and non-judgmental support, for example, avoiding suggesting women need to abstain from gambling and reassuring that disclosing gambling harms will not lead to consequences. The main barrier for women to accessing treatment or support was not recognizing that their experiences were harmful to them or to others. There were also misconceptions about the support available, for example, that it is not open to affected others, only for people with serious addictions, for people who want to stop gambling entirely, or for people where gambling harm is their main issue to resolve. That is just a little bit of what we have learned. You can read the full report and findings on our website. If you require support with your gambling or the gambling of someone close to you, help is available. For free, confidential advice, information or support for anyone affected by gambling in England, Scotland and Wales, go to begambleaware.org.